Hello everybody, welcome back to American Textbook Reading. I'm Brian Stewart. In this lesson, we're going over an interesting topic. This is lesson four. We're going over the human life cycle. Very interesting. In this lesson, you will discover the life cycle of people. We've been talking about life cycle a little bit, but it's very interesting to narrow our focus onto the life cycle of human beings. And we have some very good pictures to introduce the topic. As you can see, this is the life cycle of people in pictures. People start off very young, right, as babies. They move on to be children, then they're cool teenagers, right, and then they become adults. So this is a very good demonstration or picture demonstration of the life cycle of people. Well, let's begin at the beginning with babies. We can also say infant. Infant and baby mean the same thing. So infant, an infant is a baby. An infant cannot walk or talk. Ah, he's so cute, right? Hello, hello. Okay, sorry. But there's a little uh, infant, right? Little baby. They're newborn, right? That's another expression we can use, newborn. Newborn, they were just born. They have just been born. They have just come into the world. They're new in the world. They're very young, right? Probably under a year old or maybe a little bit older than a year. By the way, I just said under a year old. Don't be confused. That's American age, right? When infants are born, we say they are one day old, right? They start, the, they start their age at the moment that they are born in American culture. I know it's different for Korean culture, right? They might be already a year old by the time they were just a few days old in American uh, culture. So infants, we say they're like zero to one year old, right? You can be zero years old. Isn't that crazy? Okay, but in American culture, you can be zero years old. Let's take a look at the next stage. The next stage is the toddler stage, the toddler. If you think about the word toddler, it's like, you know, moving around like this. And that's exactly what toddler is talking about. A toddler is a very young child. A toddler learns to walk and talk. So an infant can't walk or talk, right? But at the stage where an infant starts, it grows, right? After about one to three years old, then we say that child is a toddler. One to three years old. Remember, this is American age. One to three years old. A toddler learns to walk and talk. So toddler, like I said, is kind of like moving around like this. They don't have good balance. They need some help, maybe, to walk. They are toddlers. And they're at the same time that they're walking, they're also learning to talk. So they're making baby sounds like go, 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 right? They're, it's very interesting to listen to toddlers talking, right? They're putting sounds together. They're starting to learn how to talk as well as how to walk. In this stage, we say that they are toddlers. In the next stage, okay, after three years old, so we got from four to 12 years old, again in American age, we say that they are children, child, they're a child. A child is a very young person who is no longer a baby. These kids are not baby. By the way, I also used kid, which is also a very common informal way. A kid, he or she is just a kid, they're kids. These are kids. They are no longer babies, but they're not yet a teen. Teen is the next stage. We'll look at that in a minute. A child goes to school. So children start school, usually with kindergarten. Then they go to elementary school, first grade to sixth grade. So a child starts to go to school. They start to go to classrooms and learn lessons in a classroom. And these are child. That's what we mean as a child, usually 4 to 12 years old. So um, you could say, you know, what about you guys? Are you a child or are you a teen? Teen is the next step in the life cycle of human beings. A teen, if you think about it, it's very logical. It's from the ages of 13 to 19. So if a child or a person is from 13 to 19, 
we call them a teen. Of course, 13, if you look at the words in English, 13, 14. It's very easy to figure out, right? 13, 14, 15, 16. These are teens. We also refer to these people as teenagers. That's also a very common word that we use. Teen, and we put agers on the end. Teenagers. They are teenagers, or short, they are teens. And these is a group of cool looking teenagers, right? Okay. A teen is a person between the ages of 13 and 19. We have that right there. Teens are young adults. So actually, when you get around 18, 19, some people consider 18 year olds, they're adults. They can vote. They can vote for leaders in a country. So, you know, getting around 18, 19, they're, they're, some people consider those people adults, right? But they're still teens because they're still in the teen years, 18, 19. Okay, so after teen, what's the next stage after teen? What do you think? That would be an adult. Adults are fully grown people. They're fully grown. Hopefully they're fully grown mentally as well as physically. But physically, they're uh, uh, fully grown. These people are all adults. Of course, they're different ages. Uh, this man here is middle-aged. Middle-aged. You may know him. He's a famous actor, right? Uh, so he's middle-aged. He's the oldest adult in this group. He's middle-aged. The other people are younger, right? They could be in their 20s or in their 30s. But middle-aged starts at about 40s right? 40s and onwards, uh, between 40 and, and 50, 60, but they're middle-aged. So an adult is a fully grown person, and this is the last stage in the human life cycle, right? Adult. After, of course, adult, there's lots of different ages in adults, right? It goes from 20 years old. How long do people live? Usually, normally, people live into their 70s. Sometimes in the news, you can hear about people who are 100 or more years old. That's really old, right? Of course, after adults, part of adults are senior citizens. These are the elderly citizens, senior citizens, very old adults, probably after 60 years old, 60s, 70s, 80s. They are senior citizens, so adults have some breakdowns too. Young adult, middle-aged, and senior citizens. These are different stages in the adult phase, in the adult phase of the life cycle of people. Okay, let's move on. Now, it's very important in the human life cycle. In order for us to be healthy during the stages of our life, we need to do certain things. One of the things we need to do is sleep. Sleep means to rest your body and mind with your eyes closed. So this little girl is asleep. She's at peace. When we talk about sleep, about half of our life is spent sleeping. It sounds like a waste, but we need to sleep. We need sleep in order to rest our body, to rest our mind, to develop our body and to develop our mind. So we need sleep. Sleep is a very important part of our life cycle. We also should exercise. There's a saying in English, use it or lose it. <laughs> what does that mean? That means you should use your body. Exercise makes your body strong. Use your body. Make your body strong or lose it. In other words, you lose your body, your body will become weak and you will have bad health and it could cause you serious health problems. So use your body or lose it. That's interesting. At, when people say you should exercise, use your body or lose your body, right? Use your body. Make it strong. Exercise like this girl is doing. Make your body strong. That's very important, of course, for you to have a healthy life cycle. Also during our life cycle, our life cycle really is a continual process of learning. We learn, we start learning right away when we're infants, when we're babies, right? And then toddlers learn to walk, they learn to talk. 
Children go to school. They learn in school. Teenagers go to high school. So do adults continue to learn? You bet. Of course, adults continue to learn. All of life is a learning experience. To learn is when you study, you learn things. When you study books, when you study in class. Right now, you're studying with me. I I'm happy to help you. But we are studying, we are learning things. But even when we're just living, when we're on the job, when we're doing our job, when we're meeting other people, we're also learning many things. So we really never stop learning. And that's important, never stop learning. Always keep an open mind, look around you, and learn from your experiences, and you will never stop learning. Learning is a very important part, of course, of our life cycle as people. Okay, let's take a look at the human life cycle. Here, we start over here, right? This is the beginning. We start out as infants or babies. We talked about that, right? Babies, zero to one year old, right? Newborn babies. Then we move into toddlers. Toddlers start to learn to walk and to talk. They're toddlers, usually between one to three years old. Over here, we have children. Children, of course, would be between four and 12 years old. Children start to go to school. That's when they enter school, kindergarten and then elementary school, grades one to six. Over here, we have teens. Uh, or we also say teenagers. Teenagers are in their teen years between 13 and 19. They go to middle school. They go to high school, right? And adults. Adults are fully grown people. And of course, we see many different stages of adults, right? Young adults, middle-aged adults, and senior citizens, right? So we have adults here. And of course, everybody will eventually die. That is the end of the life cycle. So you're born on this side, you're born over here, and then you die one day, we will die. Okay, so born, continue through the life cycle until someday we will all die. But it's important to have a rich and rewarding life. And this is the life cycle of human beings. Okay. Let's take a look at the uh, exercise to match the words with their definitions. Here we have our words, here we have the definitions. The words are teen, child, infant, adult, sleep, toddler, toddler. Okay, let's take a look at these definitions. One, a baby who cannot walk or talk, right? Same thing as newborn, they were just born. What do we, how do we describe this? person or this phase, we say that that person is an infant. They are an infant. An infant, a baby, a newborn. They cannot walk or talk yet. They haven't learned how to do that. Number two, a fully grown person. Somebody who has grown up fully. They're not going to grow any bigger. They're not going to uh, develop or get stronger, right? They're fully grown. What do we say? What phase of the life is that? Of course, that is an adult. That is an adult. A person who is fully grown. They're not going to grow anymore. Number three, a very young person who is no longer a baby, but not a teen. So a very young person who is no longer a baby, not a baby anymore, not yet a teen. So it's between those two. Actually, we have a couple of words that could fit in there, right? No longer a baby, but not yet a teen. Not yet, right? Before somebody becomes a teen, remember the ages of about 4 to 12, they are a child, okay? They just started to go to school. So no longer a baby, but not yet. That means almost, but not yet a teen. So the phase before teen is child. Okay, let's move on to number four. Number four is a person between the ages of 13 and 19. Remember, 13, 19. So teen, of course, is our answer there. That's very easy. Person between the ages of 13 and 19. And remember what I taught you before? We can also say teenager. So teenager is also used for this period in uh, the human life cycle. Number five, to rest your body and mind with your eyes closed, right? You're resting your body and mind, you sleep. 
Okay, so when you're sleeping, you're resting your body and mind, you are sleeping. That's to sleep. Number six, a very young child, very young child who learns to walk and learns to talk. Okay, what do we call that person? That we call that person, of course, a toddler. Toddler. When you think of the word toddle, I think of somebody who's like, they don't have their balance very well, to toddle, right? Uh, but we call that person a toddler, somebody who's just learning to walk, and so their balance may not be very good. They're toddlers, usually between the ages of one and three years old. Okay, let's take a look at our chart. During our life cycle, it's very important to stay healthy. You have to have a strong body, right? You also have to have a strong mind. So how can we stay healthy? There are three things that we can do to stay healthy. This chart shows us what those activities are. First, we see a salad with a lot of uh, vegetables, maybe some fruit in there. We should eat healthy foods like this one. Food like fruits, vegetables, and milk, these are healthy foods. They make your body healthy and they make your body strong. So we should eat healthy foods during our life cycle in order to have a healthy life cycle. So we have no problems. We can enjoy our lives if we are healthy. Eat healthy foods. Another very important thing, what is this girl doing? She's resting her mind and her body. Get enough sleep. Don't go to bed too late. Don't get up too early, right? Make sure you get enough sleep. You can rest your body and mind during sleep. It's very important that you do get enough sleep. The third way we can stay healthy, do exercise. You don't also have to say do exercise. We can just say exercise also. That exercise is a verb, exercise, okay? So exercise, just exercise. You don't have to say do exercise, just exercise. You should exercise. Running and jumping makes your body strong. Well, look at this girl. Can you do that? I can't do that. That would hurt my back. But young people ha have a lot more energy. They have a lot more flexibility, right? They can exercise a lot uh, more easily than adults can. That's one thing about children and adults, a, a good difference. But it's important to, to exercise your body because that makes your body strong. It makes you healthy and we want to know how to stay healthy. How do we stay healthy? How do we keep our bodies healthy during our life cycle? Okay, let's move on. We have some unhealthy habits. These are things you should not do. We just looked at things we should do. These are things you should not do. Circle unhealthy habits, okay? So if it's unhealthy, we should circle it. If it's healthy, do it. You should do it. We, should, we don't circle it. Okay, but let's take a look. What is this boy doing? Does he look healthy? He doesn't look healthy. He looks kind of tired. He's sitting on a couch. He has a remote control in his hand, a remote control. The remote control is used to do what? It's used to control the television. So this boy is watching television with the remote control. Is this a healthy habit? Is he exercising his body? No, he's not. This is an unhealthy habit. Of course, it's fun to watch television, but try not to watch too much television, maybe one hour a day or maybe two. Ask your parents. But your parents don't want you to waste all your time watching television. They want you to be healthy, so you need to exercise. How about this picture right here? This picture, in this picture, this girl has a rope in her hands. This, what is she doing? She is jumping rope. She is jumping rope. So she has a rope in her hands and she's going to jump rope, right? This, of course, is a very healthy exercise, okay? So we're not going to circle this because this is a healthy exercise. We're only going to circle unhealthy, not healthy. So we circle this one. This is not healthy, but this is healthy. This is a very healthy exercise, a good exercise for you to do jumping rope. Okay, now we have two pictures. They're showing different kinds of food. Are you hungry? Well, which one would you choose? 
which food is healthy, which food is unhealthy. Let's take a look at picture number three here. In this picture, we can see a hamburger, there's some meat, tomatoes, cheese, and of course the bread on top. Then in the front, we have French fries. Over here, we have onion rings. Now that might be a little unfamiliar. Let me write that down for you. Onion rings. Those are over here. These are onion rings. Now, of course, onions are very healthy for you. If you eat an onion, yeah, don't eat the whole onion. That might cause a stomach ache. But eat a few onions. That's very good for you. But these onions were cooked in grease, right? They have a lot of fat. There's a little bit of flour around them that holds the grease. Sure, they taste good, but they're also very fatty. They are fatty foods. Fatty, whoops, fatty foods, usually greasy, greasy foods. They are greasy foods. Greasy foods have a lot of fat in them. Are greasy foods, are fatty foods, are they healthy or unhealthy? Of course, they are unhealthy. So we would circle this food here. Let's move on to picture number four. In picture number four, we can see a salad. We have lettuce, we have types of pepper, different types of pepper, green pepper, red pepper, yellow pepper. We have tomatoes, olives. I don't know exactly, this looks like apples probably. It's cut in a strange way. And we have carrots over here. All of these foods, these are fruits and vegetables. Remember, fruits and vegetables, they're not cooked, they're not fatty, they're not greasy, they're natural. Are they healthy or unhealthy? They are healthy, so we don't circle it. So this is an example of healthy food. This is an example of unhealthy food. Now, of course, it's okay to eat hamburgers and french fries once in a while, but don't eat too much. You should eat more salads, more fresh, natural food that hasn't been cooked in Greece. This is very healthy for you. You want to have a healthy life cycle, so make sure that you eat healthy food. Okay, let's move on. True or false questions. The first one, the first stage in the human life cycle is a toddler. So we've just looked at the different stages of the human life cycle. We started off at one stage, we went all the way around the circle, and ended up at the last stage. What is the first stage? Is it a toddler? Toddlers, remember, are uh, young, uh, young human beings who first learn to walk and talk. Is that the first stage of the human life cycle? No, it's not. That's false, right? The first stage in the human life cycle is an infant. That is the first stage of the human life cycle. So we have to change the sentence so it's false, right? The first stage in the human life cycle is an infant, not a toddler. Number two, an infant cannot walk or talk. So an infant, we just saw, is the first stage in the human life cycle, right? When a, when a, a human is a toddler, they're starting to learn to walk or talk. So that's true. An infant cannot walk or talk. True, because they haven't started to learn those things. The second stage is toddler, but before that is an infant. Toddlers learn how to walk and talk. Infants don't know how to do that yet. They cannot, they cannot walk or talk. So that is true sentence. Three, a child is a person between 13 and 19 years old. Now, of course, this is pretty easy. You probably caught this already, right? 13, 19. A person who is between 13 and 19 is a teen, not a child, right? So we would have to change this sentence. We would have to change it to teen. So, of course, that's false, right? If we change the sentence, it becomes true but it's uh, false as it is. How old is a child? A child is a person between the ages of about four and 12 years old. So a child is between four and 12, not 13 and 19. We'd have to change this sentence. Okay, well that wraps it up for this section. We're gonna take a short break and take a look at the reading next. Okay, the reading section has to do with the life cycle of people, and that's in our topic sentence. The life cycle of people is amazing. It's really incredible. It's very amazing. Why is it amazing? 
because people go through so many stages in their lives. It's really amazing human beings have such different stages in lives. If you look at other animals, it seems that they, you know, as soon as, a, for example, a horse is born, they can walk. They can't talk. <laughs> they never talk, but they can walk already. So it seems like some animals don't have as many life stages as a human being does. Human beings go through many life stages and many changes, more than other animals. So the life cycle of people is really amazing. And then, of course, this article, this uh, reading passage, is going to talk about those steps. It's going to order these steps, of course, in chronological order. Chronological order. This means by time. So we are going to start at the newest and go to the oldest. That's how this reading passage is organized. So we're going to talk about the first stage. A person starts very small, very small person. They are an infant, an infant, a newborn, a baby. An infant cannot walk or talk. So then the first stage of the human being's life cycle, we don't know how to talk yet. We don't know how to walk. All we can do is crawl around or even before that, all we can do is move around. We really depend on our parents, especially our mother, to help us. Infants cannot walk or talk. An infant grows into a toddler. So this is the second stage of the human life cycle. Toddlers start to learn to walk. A toddler starts to learn to walk and talk. So that's when we start to become more independent. When we can move around for ourselves, we can also speak for ourselves and tell our mom or our dad what we want. A toddler starts to learn to walk and talk. A toddler will grow into a child. So just in this part here, we can see the th first three stages of a human life cycle, right? So we start one as an infant, second, toddler, third, we start, at, we, we, be, we become children. Of course, remember the ages, an infant, zero to one years old, about two to, I'm sorry, about one to three years old, and this is about four to 12 years old, okay? So those are the first three stages of the human life cycle. Moving on, we can see a child can walk and talk. Of course, a child can walk and talk. They've already learned how to do that in the toddler stage. So children begin to go to school. They can walk to school and they can talk to the teacher. They can talk to other students. They can learn because they can talk, they can listen, and they can speak. When a person becomes 13 years old, they're not a child anymore. We call them a teen, right? Remember, a teen or teenager, a teen or teenager is a person between the 13 and 19. Some people also say, you know, it's like the tween years, tween years, teen years. So this is another uh, thing that people say about teens. They're in their tween years between children and adult, right? But it's 13, uh, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19. So they are teens or teenagers. They're between 13 and 19 years old. These uh, uh, teenagers, they go to middle school. They also go to high school. Okay. When a person becomes over 19 years old, what are they? They're in their uh, last stage of the human development cycle, of the life cycle of humans. They are in the stage of adult. Now, what is special about an adult? An adult is a fully grown person. Another interesting thing you can see about adults here, adults can start to have children of their own. And then the life cycle continues. And of course, this is how all life continues, right? People go through different life uh, stages, different stages in their life. All animals go through different stages in their life. Plants also do this. They become adults and they can start the cycle again by having babies. And the cycle starts over. So an adult is a fully grown person. Okay, so during our life cycle, we should be healthy, right? So when we're uh, starting off from infant to adult, we should be healthy. 
Uh, it's very important, obviously, to exercise our bodies, use it or lose it. We should also learn, and this helps us to become healthy throughout our life cycle, to help us have good and rewarding lives. So, what is important for being healthy? Every person should eat healthy foods, that's one way. Another way, get enough sleep, that's a second way. And third, exercise, to be strong and healthy. You should do these three things in order to make sure that you are healthy, right? Eat healthy foods. Don't eat the hamburger very often. Eat salads, eat fruits, eat vegetables, eat healthy foods. Get enough sleep. Don't stay up playing computer games or watching TV, right? Go to bed early. Get up when you're not tired anymore. Don't get up too early and play the computer game again. Wake up naturally, right? Get enough sleep. Get enough sleep. And three, exercise, right? Jump rope. Run. Play sports. Get enough exercise to be strong and healthy. In that way, you will have a strong and healthy life cycle. Okay, let's take a look at our reading skill. Here we have sequence. Now, do you remember before I taught you that word chronological? Let me write it down for you again. Chronological. 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 This means, of course, by time. So this is a very good subject to talk about chronological order or time order. That's what we mean by sequence. Sequence means what happens first, what happens second, what happens third, on and on till last. First to last. Sequence. What is the sequence of the events? What is the sequence of a human life cycle? We're talking about different steps or different stages, okay? Now, that's what we're going to do here. This will be the first stage, second stage, third stage, fourth stage, and fifth stage. So we're breaking it down to five different stages, five steps in our sequence. Let's take a look at those different steps. Of course, during this chart, we have blanks we need to fill in. Over here, we have the name of the stage. Over here, we have the description of that stage. So, our first name of the stage, our first label is missing. We have to look at the description. Cannot walk or talk. Also, it's the first stage. Which one would it be? Our words are down here. Walk, teen, adult, school, infant. From this, we can see we have three labels for the stages. So. These are where these words will go in. Which word is appropriate for this blank? Of course, this one here, infant, is the first stage in the human life cycle. It's when we cannot walk or talk. The second stage is toddler. That's already filled in for us. What does a toddler do? The description of a toddler. A toddler starts to learn to beep and talk. Well, we just look up here, of course, and of course, we see the word down here, walk. A toddler starts to learn to walk and talk. This is when human beings first start to become independent. They first start to learn how to walk so they can move around by themselves. They learn how to talk so they can express themselves. They're becoming independent. 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 They're becoming independent. The next stage, the third stage, is child. A child begins to go to where? A child begins to go to where? What word down here would fit in this blank? Well, of course, that would be school. A child begins to go to school. Okay? So that's our third stage there. Then we have the fourth and the fifth stage. We don't have the labels, so we've got to fill in the labels. Let's look at the description. The next stage, a person between 13 and 19 years old, right? Of course, we're looking for one of these words that I've underlined here. That's a teen. So, we have teen. A person between 13 and 19 years old. Finally, we have the last stage, the final stage of the human life cycle. It's a fully grown person. Which of these three words that I underlined would fit? Of course, you would choose adult. 
an adult is a fully grown person. So when we look at this chart, we can see that the chart is uh, made out, it's a sequence, in the, in, it's ordered by sequence. Sequence, chronological, or by time. We have the different sequences or stages of a human life cycle, starting at infant, going to toddler, child, teen, adult. This is the chronological order of a human life cycle. It's in sequence. Okay, so very good. Let's do our reading comprehension questions. Number one, what does a teen become? So think back on the chart. We just looked at the chart, right? We saw the different stages of the life cycle for human beings. We saw infant, uh, toddler, child, teen. What's the next? What does a teen become? A toddler? No, because a toddler turns into a child who then becomes a teen. So A is incorrect. A child become, a teenager becomes a child? No, a child becomes a teenager. It's the other way around, so that's not right. A teen becomes an adult? Yes, that's true. That is our correct answer. A teen becomes an adult. What does a teen become? What does a beep become? You're asking for the next stage in the sequence. You're asking for the next step in the sequence. So adult is the next step in the sequence of a human life. Number two, a child can walk and talk, but is not yet what? Okay, so sure, children can walk, they can talk, but they are not yet what? A, fully grown, B, going to school, C, eating healthily. Well, of course our answer is A, a child can walk or t and talk, but is not yet fully grown. They are not adults yet. In fact, they still have to go through the teen stage to become fully grown. So they're not, they're far away from being fully grown. Let's look at B and C for practice. B and is, is not yet going to school. Is that true? No, it's not true. Children start to go to school. So B obviously is not right. A child does go to school, right? It says not yet, but that's not correct. Child, children go to school. C, a child can walk and talk, but is not yet eating healthily? That's not correct either. Throughout your entire life cycle, we should be eating healthily. Infants eat healthily. Toddlers should eat healthily. Children, teenagers, adults, all stages should be eating healthily. Of course, uh, when you're very young, infants and toddlers, they don't have much choice. It's up to the parents. But of course, parents will want their kids to grow up strong. They will give them healthy food. When you become a child, that's when you start to choose for yourself what you will eat. And it's important to choose healthy foods. You should eat healthily throughout your entire life. Okay, let's move on. Number three, a teen is a person. So a teen, remember teen, <coughs> excuse me, a teen. A teen is a person, A, under 13, less than 13 years old. So maybe between the ages of zero to 12. Is that a teen? No, that's not a teen. Remember, we're talking about teen, right? B, between 13 and 19 years old. Okay, that's our answer right there, right? It's B because 13, 19, these are the teen years. It's when a person is a teenager. So that's the correct answer. C, over 19 years old? No, they're no longer a teen, right? So C is not the right answer. A teen is a person who has teen at the end of their age. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. They are teens. Okay, number four, what should people do to stay healthy? Now remember, you want to be healthy throughout your life. So what should you do? A, eat vegetables and fruit, exercise and sleep well. That sounds good, right? That is our correct answer. Eat vegetables and fruit, eat healthy food, exercise your body, use it or lose it. Sleep, get enough sleep, rest your body, rest your mind at night, get enough sleep. That's the correct answer. Let's take a look at B and C for practice. Sleep a lot, eat healthy foods, but do not exercise. Well, two are right, one is wrong. So B is not correct. The two that are right, sleep a lot, that's right. Eat healthy foods, sure. 
but don't exercise, that's wrong. Okay, by the way, it's very similar to A. They just mixed up the order and changed the words around. Eat vegetables is the same as eat healthy foods, vegetables and fruit. Sleep a lot is the same as sleep well. Do not exercise, however, is the opposite of exercise. Let's take a look at C. Go to school and learn to sleep. <laughs> Do you learn how to sleep at school? No. You know how to sleep when you're a baby, right? Way before you go to school, you know how to sleep. So C is kind of a silly answer, isn't it? You don't go to school to learn how to sleep. Teacher, how do I sleep? No, you already know how to sleep. Okay. Okay, let's move on. We have our chart here. We've seen this chart before. It's a good chart showing the different stages of the human life cycle. Let's take a look at the first stage. We look at the pictures here. In these pictures, they're very happy. They're very happy, aren't they? Very happy little people. They have just been born. They are newborns. They are babies. They don't yet know how to laugh, or they do know how to laugh. They don't know how to talk or to walk yet. I'm just making a joke because they're, they look like they're very happy. They're laughing, um, so they do know how to laugh. But they don't know how to walk. They don't know how to talk. What do we call them? We call them infants. They are at the infant stage. He or she is an infant. In the next stage, now they learn how to walk, they learn how to talk. They're a little bit older, right? They're probably between one to three years old. What stage of life is this? If you guess toddler, you are correct. They are toddlers. He is a toddler, she is a toddler. Now, after the toddler stage, okay, they, these people, they are older now. They know how to talk. They know how to walk. They start to go to school, usually between the ages of 4 and 12, right? Of course, those kids will go to school. Kids is another word for the same meaning of child. He is a kid. He's a child. She is a kid. She is a child. Okay, so child. The next stage, the children get older. Now they're between 13 and 19 years old. They're probably going to high school. They're almost adults, almost adults, not quite adults, not yet adults, okay? They're between the ages of 13 and 19. They are teens or teenagers. After teenage years or the teens, they become fully formed people. They're fully grown people. They won't grow any bigger. They're not, their bodies aren't, well, their bodies might grow this way, right? Their stomachs might get bigger, uh, but they're not going to grow any taller. They're not going to grow, uh, they're not going to get stronger, for example. They are adults, okay? So he is an adult, she is an adult. And this is a good chart that shows the human life cycle. So where are you on this human life cycle? Probably you're either a child or you're a teen, okay? So you're probably somewhere here. I'm sure none of you are in this life cycle, right? Because you don't understand what I'm talking about, right? So you're probably between here and here. Okay, so this is a human life cycle. Remember, in your human life cycle, be healthy. Today we talked about the human life cycle. We talked about the five stages of the human life cycle. We also learned that it's very important to be healthy. Eat healthy foods. Get enough sleep. Um, exercise your body. Stay strong. Stay healthy. Throughout your human life cycle, you will have a great life. And I hope that you do. Well, we'll see you next time. Take care.